All right, people. We got a guest upload here from Team Ninja. The link will be in the description. So we actually have a top 32 deck profile here, Utah Regionals. This man topped with freaking Ghost Tricks. Can you believe that, people? <laughs> Can you believe that? Wow. Just I'm not saying that the people here in, in Utah are bad, but. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, he did it. He did it. So we're going to go ahead and get the deck profile. So if you want to go ahead and see more awesome content from Team Ninja, be sure to go ahead and check out the channel in the link description. And there will also be an annotation. Go ahead and click it, and it will take you right to the channel. You can hit that subscribe button and watch all their content. So uh, we got someone from Team Ninja right here, and he, 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 he just trolled everybody trolled everybody so he's gonna go ahead and go over the deck and that's a lot of cards it's it's, it's an interesting one all, all right. right so we're, we're gonna start this off with uh triple ghost trick Gianchi. uh why because it's the it's one of the best searchers for the deck mm -hmm. it lets you get um anywhere from one to a level one to a level three ghost trick from your deck straight to your hand depending on how many face-up ghost tricks you have okay. So, um, very basic. Uh, I also ran three Ghost Trick Skeleton. Uh, this card actually came in handy way more times than I can count. Uh, I ended up banishing round two. I ended up banishing a Bryonic and a Unicorn, as well as a uh, Necroz Mirror and a Shrit face down. Yeah. Uh, in game one against a uh, uh, Necros player, so that that really uh, screwed him over. That was fun. Um, uh, for you that don't know, Ghost Trick Skeleton, uh, when it's flip face up, flip uh, banishes uh, monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, banishes monsters on your opponent from your opponent's deck. Top card, face man. down. He doesn't banish monsters. He banishes the top cards, man. He's nervous. He's yeah. nervous. Fuck. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh huh. Best top card. Uh, Banish the top card of your uh, opponent's deck equal number face up ghost tricks. And they cannot look at them or they get a game off. Yeah. Yeah. Did, they, did that happen to anybody? It that? did not happen. Holy crap, yeah. dude! You yeah. Wrecked a YCS with that one. Yeah. Um. Triple ghost trick Jack Frost MVP of the deck. That, that MVP. I saw that thing fail more than the others. It's like, huh? Never mind. <laughs> that was only against Cleese, man. I heard Vanities hit it. No, Vanities was hitting freaking Lantern, and Lantern was just like, I'm not just going to sit here and negate. Yep. Uh, right. Speaking of Lantern, you're in orange. I ran triple Ghost Trick Lantern. Just block all the attacks. So block all the attacks. Never Vanities that deck, because they could just keep blocking. Uh, I ran double Ghost Trick Mary. All right. For the special summon from deck. Yeah. And take that damage. Uh, double Ghost Trick Spectre for the extra draw power. You want to go three Spectre? I, three Spectre got really cloggy. Hmm. And I found two Spectre just to be that nice little balance. Okay. Is he scary now? <laughs> uh, I ran two Train Signal Reds. And how did that work? Summon it and block Man. It backfired, it, didn't it? It did not backfire one bit. It blocked a lot of attacks. It's the funniest thing. A lot of people said when they read the effect, they picked up the card, read it themselves. They thought that it... It couldn't be destroyed by battle, oh, period. period. They didn't yeah. read the that part. Uh, L2 read, you fucks. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, double Max C. How did Max C work today? Why did you Max C in there? I put it in last minute as a last minute decision. I figured as much. Uh, the Max C's actually helped quite a bit during my uh, round three and round four matchups. Anybody take the challenge? Uh, one person took the challenge. I ended up drawing 15 cards. What the fuck? And then you just blocked them? I just ended up blocking and stalling like a boss. And then on my turn, I ended up regecking and MSTing all their back row. Who the fuck does a Maxi challenge against Ghost Tricks? A Maxi challenge is Ghost Tricks. Who the fuck does that? This is dumb. What? And then to round up the monster count, I ran uh, two Doom Cows. How did he work today? Doom Cow put in so much work against Stellars. <laughs> like... I opened up uh, Doom Cow, um, Light Imprisoning, and a, uh, what was it, Summon Limit, Game 2 against the uh, Star Star of Seller Knights, and they just scooped it up. Oh, wow. They couldn't do anything. <laughs> it was bad. Um, Alright, so that was it for the monsters. Hi, monster count. Hi, deck count. <laughs> uh, for the spells, I ran two Ghost Trick Mansion. 
Alright. I also ran the one terraforming, but we'll get to that later. I ran two Swords of Concealing Light. Well, I liked when you played that in, in time and the judge was like, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, in time, I actually played this on turn three and the judge was just like, wow. <laughs> and th this is actually what won me the game, too, because it was in time. I had 4,800 life points, and he had three monsters on the field with two other monsters face up. I went uh, Swords of Concealing Light, and I had a mansion on the field. So I Swords of Concealing Light, and I attacked with two skeletons and a lantern, bringing him down to 48, ending it, that, mat that duel in a draw. And since I won game one, I ended up winning the match. Wow. So, Swords of Concealing Light won me won me that match, which was really three? cool. Huh? Would you play three? All right. Just I five. I might bump it up to three. I, I was don't gonna know. I going to say, I think you should play three. That card did... I, I, it, it looks like it's one of those cards that would have probably saved your ass a little bit more. Yeah, it, it probably would have, but I'll get into some other cards that I might bump up a, in a bit. Mm -hmm. There were some th cards I would definitely take out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, go and do those too. Yeah, uh, next was two Supply Squad. That Some one. dude was bitching about that. <laughs> He's like, God, that damn Ghost Trick and his Supply Squad. The pluses were real. The pluses are real. <laughs> the pluses are so real. I might actually bump this up to three just because of the high deck count. So I can draw into everything I need faster. That might work. Um, I also ran two Book of Eclipse. Did it get you out of the Necro Uh, I actually was never to Gin Locked. Wow. I don't think I don't think anybody would digin lock this deck. So I, I, that was <laughs> yeah, they would. that was not an issue for me. This was mainly just for me to help mill out my opponent's deck. Yeah, make them draw more cards. Uh, I ran two pod dualities because most of the time I don't really need a special, mm -hmm. and being able to add in some of my key trap cards that I need really comes in handy. Um, as for the <gasps> as for the one ofs, I ran the one regeki. Mm -hmm. uh, the one Book of Moon, yep. the one Terraforming, as I stated earlier. Um, as for the tech choices, I ran one, Rank of Magic, the seventh one. And how many times did you get that off? Uh, I drew it seven times in total. It got Solemn Warning once. Wow. Okay. All the rest, it went through. And it just C101 put in the work? And C101 just ended up putting in all the work. Okay. I run one reoccurring nightmare to add back any of my uh, lanterns and specters, and even sometimes my ghost trick Dolahan when it was spent. I ran one mass change second to go into Dark Law, wow. and Dark Law just puts in a lot of work against some some decks. Would you consider I faced. running more mass change second? I tried to, um, and sometimes I just ended up having it and not needing it, and I wish I just had other cards instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. I ran one <laughs> Dragon's Mirror. Batman. Batman work. Batman um, work. Dragon's Mirror was actually one of my favorite tech choices, just because it helped me get a three thousand beat stick mm -hmm. and get over a uh, Quill off Stealth. Yeah. In other words, Batman. Yeah. It I was. Didn't get over a Cleefort Stealth just because it's some of the token. Yeah. I figured much. That's what he does. Um, on to the traps. I ran two Ghost Trick Scares. Uh, this is one of the cards I would definitely bump back up to three. I ended up taking it down to two last minute. Mm -hmm. And I ended up needing it a lot more than I thought I would have. Uh, I ran two of the new Ghost Trick Break trap card. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Ghost Trick Break, when exactly one Ghost Trick monster is destroyed by battle or by card effect... You can special summon two ghost tricks with different names in your graveyard and face down defense mode. Oh. So it basically just adds into more stall and. So basically, at face two of those face down, or is it once well, only one per turn? Huh? Is it only one per turn, or? It I believe it is only one per turn, but um, it's still really good even if it is only one. Mm -hmm. I ran two needle sealing. Um, Why the fuck not? <laughs> needle sealing, since most of your monsters are face down, as long as you have two and your opponent has two, you can go ahead and dish up their plays. Yep. It, well, it's the face up monsters and you're always face down. So. Exactly, so you really don't worry about it. I ran uh, two Mirror Force. Um, How did Mirror Force work? Every time I set the Mirror Force, it went off. Uh -huh. 
it never got stopped. It hit a lot of big plays. Uh, yeah, people are overextending, forgetting yeah, the forces of thing. Right? Lots of people were overextending, which is surprising. They are trying to push against the gust trick to put pressure on you, and they ended up yeah. getting for it. Um, I ran double mind crush, I main decked. Uh, the double mind crush just so much help, because mm -hmm. I was able to. Um, I ended up against a uh, one of the players round five, I believe, or round six. I was playing against Black Wings. I ended up blind mind crushing and saying Kalut and hit all three of his Kalutes in hand. Wow. So that put in just so much work. It wasn't even funny. Uh, two summon limits. What summon limit does is you can only summon twice per turn. Period. Flip summon, normal summon, special summon, pendulum summon, whatever. It you only get two. So it just so me. it helps. Uh, I also run two pulling the rug because I I went in today thinking I was gonna see lots of like star seraphs and all that kind of stuff and lots of like cards that activate when they're summoned mm -hmm. and I actually found myself citing this out a lot more than I meet than I thought mm. um, I would definitely keep at least one in just for that oddball uh, tech but it's definitely something I wouldn't keep at two uh, the one that I do keep at two though is two trap tricks trap hole nightmare too good uh, too good it's just too good it hits way too many decks I also ran one crush card because everything for you is below a thousand basically except for um except for dark uh doom cal and skeleton those are your only two targets that you can't use everything else you can so you're basically set and one ring of destruction the ring was definitely a last minute decision and it won me a lot of games anybody perfectly get game by it uh one person got gained by over 100 Hmm. So he was over by 100. Oh. So it was real close. So that is the main deck. 57 cards in total. This man. 57 cards. Uh, is the camera going <laughs> to yeah. jump? Or... Uh, for the extra deck now, um, I ran two Ghost Trick Duel Hans. Duel Han too good. Yep. Duel Han was too good. It helps recycle in your ally cards and all this other stuff. I ran two Ghost Trick ally cards. They're not ulti. <laughs> and I ran one of the new Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Fuck that, dude. They thought you pulled it off. The story behind Angel of Mischief, though, I was in. It was game round three, game two, against a uh, the noble the normal Pendulum deck, mm -hmm. and I went into Alucard and ended up. Uh, using both of his materials to pop some cards. Mm -hmm. I then went into the Angel of Mischief and just proceeded to win game with her with her uh, 10 XYZ material uh, win effect. I can't believe he let you get that off. <laughs> I know, right? So that was just one of the highlights of this this tournament. Um, I also run one 101 and one C 101 for the rank at Magic Seventh one. All right. I run. Uh, number 54 Lionheart for when not they Did you play it? I didn't see this thing at all I had the opportunity to go into him but I decided to go into my Dullahan instead and go into the Angel of Mischief sure and detach the Dullahan to get its effect in Grave and add back a, a Lantern instead to just add some more stall than to go into this because it was against the Klee player and I figured um, going going against Cleese, I might as well have something that I can, you know, get some high attack in it over this. Uh, I run one Acid Golem. Didn't see it the entire duel. Didn't see it all day. I ran one number 47. Didn't see it all day. I ran one number 49 Fortune Tune. Didn't play didn't, it. Didn't see it all day. <laughs> I ran one Levier. Didn't see it all day. I ran one Dark Law. Put in work. I ran one Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon. Uh, he put in a lot of work. Yeah, he's Batman. He he's one of the reasons why half the games I won 
I won is because I was able to get into this guy and just start, you know, putting up a wall of a 3,000 stick and a token that can just just constantly just start attacking. Mm. And then the one last attack was number F0, uh, Utopic Future. Didn't see him all day. You said you summoned him, you dick. Yeah, I did in a free game. Oh, psh. So, of course, in a free game, never in tournament. You can't have any good. You can't have good opportunities in tournament. Right. Except the freaking mischief you pulled off twice. All right. right. So for side deck. Uh, side deck. I ran two poisonous winds. Did I cited them for Usenjus and Ritual Beasts? Um, didn't face either of those. Mm. I ran one creature swap. I cited it in against the uh, Clee Flare. Didn't see it. Mm -hmm. I run two mystical space typhoons. Right. I cited those in a few times. I ended up seeing them. They actually came in handy against the Blackwing player. Uh, the one Massacre Strict, I cited that in against Klee's and Necroz. Saw both games. Both games it helped out immensely. I ran two Mistake. Mistake, I cited in a few times. Um, it never really hurt me because by the time I activated it, I already had the huge hand advantage I needed. Uh, I ran uh, two... Anti-spell fragrance, uh, make please cry, basically. Uh, two imperial iron walls. Uh, I wrecked an inferno player hard round one, uh, round two, with this. And finally, triple light imprisoning, because I knew uh, Star Seraph Satellas were going to be a big show there. And yeah, the hell they were with every table at least five players. Right. It's probably the most popular one there. Yeah. Stellar dolls. Different. There was only like what? Two. Like two, maybe three Seraph dolls. I'm like, holy shit. It was more uh, uh, starter Stellars than freaking anything else. Mm -hmm. And this put in so much work because I was citing these in. I I was literally last minute. Should I main deck these and just say screw it? Yeah. But I didn't. I didn't need to because I did. I only played two uh, Stellar dolls, and both of them I kicked their ass. Okay. So, so there was eight rounds, right? Eight rounds. Uh, round one, I end. I showed up. I had to show up late because uh, we all showed up. Well, we were all late. <laughs> we were all late. Uh, ended up getting a game one loss because of uh, having to finish filling out my deck list. <laughs> In a minute and a half. Yeah, a they gave half. us a freaking minute and a half for this shit. <sighs> um, and then I proceeded to. Uh, Go into time and finish him uh, and beat him round uh, um, game two. Uh, game two for a draw for round one. Round two, I ended up facing Infernoids and I two would them. Round three, I faced Necroz and uh, went two and went uh, one two. Ended up losing. Uh, he won game one. Game two, I was just too fast with all my searching. Uh, ended up stalling him out with a double mind crush that really hurt him. Mm -hmm. uh, round four, I faced a normal pendulum deck, and that's when the Angel of Mischief kicked off. Round five, I faced Statellers, and that's he tried to rule shark me, saying that because I activated summon limit at, uh, on his summon of, uh, of scepter that he still gets two more summons. We called Judge, and Judge ruled in my favor because Summon Limit was the last thing in the chain, so it was the first to activate. So he was being really butthurt about that. Um, round six, I faced Black Wings. Round seven, I faced... Uh, what, was, what was it round seven? I believe it was some rogue deck. I don't even remember. And round eight was Klee's. So, that was really fun. I got lots of pretty decent trades overall. The, the event was fun. I had, a, I, had a big, I had a blast, so I can't really complain about that. The place, though, was could have been better. It wasn't in the best part of... We'll like, do that in another video. Yeah. But that'll be in another video on our channel, Team Ninja. Yep. So... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Dee's channel if you haven't already, Yuvo Mastery. Yeah. And come on over, check us out. This is Team Ninja, signing off.